What is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. As most of you guys are probably aware that are not new to my channel, I just wrapped up the didactic year of PA school a couple of weeks ago in a little under a week. I'm going to be beginning the clinical year. So I thought what a perfect opportunity and time to make this video for you guys. So you saw the title, you know what's coming. I'm about to give you some tips for the didactic year of PA school, all of you first years out there or undergrad students that are watching this that uh, kind of want to get some insight into the didactic year of PA school. Fortunately for you guys, my whole cohort of 80 something students of us decided to come together and make a list of tips and tricks for the incoming first years at my university. And after looking through the list of tips and tricks that we created, I was like, this stuff is gold. Uh, this needs to be shared with more first year students other than just the students that are gonna be coming through my current program. And so I thought it would be super cool to go through, pick some of my favorite tips and tricks that we came up with and share them with you guys. So today's video is gonna be pretty informal, but hopefully super helpful. I'm gonna just go through uh, some of the tips and tricks that I marked and selected on the list that I thought were the most helpful. Let's so go ahead and sit back, relax, and take something away from this. I found peace in your vibes. Can't show me there's no point in trying. I'm out of mine. And I've been quiet for so long. Alright, gang, so here we go. The first tips of this video are going to be in regards to the first week of PA school. At least that's the little subheading that we created for this topic. So again, I'm going to literally just read you uh, the words from my fellow classmates and my peers. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can take something away from this. So the first thing I'm going to read to you guys is honestly, after three days, I forgot what life was like outside of PA school. I didn't give myself enough breaks while I was studying during the first week because I felt so overwhelmed and so I burned out quickly. I think a lot of our classmates felt the same way, and once we learned to take care of ourselves and find balance, it got a lot better. We truly didn't need to spend every waking moment reviewing anatomy, even though initially it felt like we did. Taking a day off and doing literally nothing after class on the fourth day helped so much, and I totally agree with this. It's kind of hard at the very beginning to kind of understand the concept of taking a break just because you feel like you're literally taking a fire hose to your mouth and you don't have any time for anything else. But I definitely agree and I think that taking time for yourself or taking a day off is super crucial. First week was difficult, you get a lot of info thrown at you quickly and you're struggling to try and figure out the best way to study. I was anxious and felt like I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off that first week. My best advice is to breathe. Everyone feels that way during the first two weeks whether or not they show it. If I can get through it, then so can you. And I wanted to include a few of these, uh, a few of these tips that I'm going to share are kind of similar but I really like the words that my classmates chose and I feel like they put their own spin on a couple different things a little uh, differently and I thought that it would provide value to you guys. So the first week was terrifying. I felt like I had no idea what I was doing, but the more you talk to people, no one else does either. It is a lot to take in and easy to stress, but take it a day at a time. And I chose to keep this one in here uh, because I want you guys to know that when you're going through it, like me myself, I felt, I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. I felt like I got in over my head and I wanted to keep these in here so you guys know that other people in my class, everyone feels the same way. We're all super anxious. We all feel like we're not going to make it and uh, the truth is that just take it a day at a time. Um, don't try to stress too much and you're going to make it. So, Alright, now we're going to move on to general studying tips. Um, I think this is the bulk of the tips if I'm not mistaken, but here we go. Find people that study like you and study with them a few times a week. They will latch on to different details in you and it helps to solidify what you know to quiz each other uh, and talk through stuff. Try to reread the notes a few times and then organize it in a way that makes sense for you. I found that that helped me to get an understanding of the information and then to make concise notes, quizlets of my own rather than just retyping everything that was already in the note packets. Try to review all the content as soon as you can at the latest by the weekend after you've learned it. I really agree with that statement because um, I feel like the longer you go uh, without refreshing the material, it, you're literally just learning it for the first time again. But anyways, it will seem crazy to do that when you have three exams a week, but you can't cram classes like neuro and especially not clinical classes like ClinMed. I, I, you know, there might be some people out there that might be able to cram like that, but I definitely don't think that that's conducive to long-term like learning and uh, like complete understanding. You might be able to cram it in. Uh, to do well on the exam, but hopefully your goal is not to just do good on the exams, to actually like learn the material uh, to be able to apply it to your future patients. So uh, next one is going to be 
Foster a sharing environment with your class early. Nice charts in PA school are like how gum was in middle school. Completely agree. If you can share the workload of making them, it saves everyone time. Find a cool link to a video or other resource, share it on the class Facebook page. I'm not sure if you guys viewing uh, this video are gonna have a class Facebook page or whatnot. This whole idea though of fostering a sharing environment with your class is huge. Um, as you are probably aware, um, us being PAs, we're not really like competing for residency spots or there's no reason to compete with your classmates. I mean, a certain level of like competition is good to like motivate you to study more and to do well, but ultimately we're all trying to get to the same place. Uh, we're not competing for residency spots and so sharing is caring, my friends. Studying is different for everyone. Find something that works for you, whether that's reading the lecture notes, watching sketchy videos, I said that kind of weird, making charts. Uh, studying is hard but you become more efficient once you start to see how you learn the material the best. I definitely agree with this because I'm personally the type of person that likes to read things many times and then it just sticks, um, but there were a lot of classmates of mine that watched sketchy videos, uh, which is kind of a, it's a, sketchy is like a, uh, ske what sketchy does is they kind of like put a whole bunch of the material into pictures so you can like tie material in with like a story. Um, it was actually really cool. There was a few uh, like pharmacology ones that I watched that were super helpful. So definitely recommend that if you're more of a visual learner. But the next tip is don't get hung up on previous studying strategies. Uh, find the study strategies that work for you for each course. Um, use Excel spreadsheets to map out your notes before class, fill it in during lecture or after class. So um, what I liked about this one and why I chose that uh, specific tip is because uh, you may have to adapt and uh, what works for one class studying may not work for another. So you gotta kinda like figure it out. All right, find a small group of people that make you feel comfortable asking questions and talking things out. It's far too much to go at it alone. Uh, prep by yourself, then find someone that works for you and talk things out. Try to avoid studying in bed or in your room, I agree. Uh, make that a place for calm and sleep because you will need a space to feel like it is in school all the time. Also, use buzzwords, make charts of the information and use colors. The more ways you interact with the material, the better. I personally like to grab my charts and walk around with them or hop on a treadmill or bike at the gym for a little while I was getting frustrated sitting. And this is a perfect testament as to like how people study different because I could never do that. I could never like focus and try to study at the gym or something like, or on the, like a cardio equipment. I literally have to just be like in a quiet room, no distractions and just focus, laser focused on what I'm studying to like really retain it. But then there's some people that can go to the gym and like do cardio. So it's really just like up to you and your learning styles. Don't feel pressured to study with peers if that doesn't work for you. Lock yourself in the library if you hate it. Some people like making charts, some people like printing off notes, some people like listening to lectures online. It doesn't matter what you do, just study. There's no correct way, also they tell you not to procrastinate for anything, but the way to be the most successful is to recognize which classes you can honestly put off for a few nights and which classes you need to spend those nights studying for more. Uh, you'll never get 100% in everything and the earlier you accept that, the better you'll feel, so just prioritize. Rereading lectures once is never enough, even the easy topics. I chose to put this tip in the video because I actually really liked what my classmate said about recognizing which classes to put off for a few nights. I felt that that's like a super valuable tip just because you wanna try to keep up on everything, especially as the days go, but there are times when you're, you may have like two or three exams in one week and uh, there may be an exam that you're trying to like catch up on, but the test for that class isn't for like another week and a half, so you kinda have to like Set that to the side, study the classes that you have the tests in the current week, and then on the weekend kind of like pick up the pace with some of the material that you, uh, for that class that the test was a little later for. So uh, you kind of just gotta like learn to prioritize and time management classes, but I also don't think you should really ever get super behind. So there's a nice balance. So the next little subheading is time management. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and read some of these for you guys. I switched off from coffee shops to the cafeteria to the library. I didn't study well in my apartment after a while because I just fell asleep. Being around people that are productive makes me feel like I need to be productive and then my time is more efficient. Also, sleep, eat, exercise. If you don't do those things, your time won't be efficient either. Don't try to hang out with friends every day, but once or twice on the weekends or even on the weekdays is okay. You might feel like you don't have a ton of time, but you need to take care of yourself and that involves taking time off of school too. You will succeed and find balance, but burning out because you aren't taking enough breaks won't help that. What I really liked about this tip was being around people that are productive makes me feel like I need to be productive. And 
I completely agree with this. Um, I had to actually at one point during this year start putting my phone on do not disturb just so the notifications didn't distract me. And I found that when I studied with my homies, with my friends, I was much more in the zone because we all understood that time was of the essence and we didn't have a whole lot of time to mess around and we had to focus and we were all so much more productive. So definitely recommend uh, studying with peers um, if that's gonna help you. Also though, if you really just wanna be by yourself, then go ahead and do that. I think there's a time and place for everything, uh, but PA school is something that you definitely don't wanna go out alone. Take time for yourself, I cannot stress this enough. I spent a few weeks solely studying and my grades weren't better than when I took one to two hours a day off for leisure time. Make time to work out. I know everyone says this, but it's so important. Give your body some love and your brain a much needed break. It is a great stress reliever and kept me sane during the didactic year. Yes, yes, yes. Take breaks, self-care is important. Spaced repetition is key, agree. Study ahead for exams during the weekend. Sacrifice some social time as needed to catch up if you lag behind. P.S. You might never feel caught up. Accept that at the beginning so you can pace your studying better. Love it. Get a planner and write out what needs to be done each day of the week. Write down what notes you need to take, the lectures you need to watch, and what lecture tests to study for. Being able to see what's left to do is daunting, but crossing each item off uh, makes you feel like you're getting places. Love it. Try to study earlier rather than later. It makes the course load a lot easier to handle, but it also lets you estimate when you have free time. Get a planner and use it. It's very helpful to make a plan and try to stick to it or at least know when you're behind. Again, find what works for you. I push myself to get up early during the week to study before class because that's when my mind was fresh and then I was able to give myself some time on the weekends off. Now we're gonna move into another section. It's gonna be relationships in PA school, friends, family, uh, all that kind of good stuff. So here we go. The people in your life may try to understand what your schedule is like, but they won't necessarily fully understand, which is okay. Don't blame them for that. But if they say insensitive things or don't understand why you canceled plans for the third time, just know that it's hard for others to comprehend what it is that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But tell yourself that your excuses are valid and you are doing the best that you can. Make sure to make time for the people that are supporting you. They will be a respite when you are crazy stressed and need an outlet. Make time, set a goal for yourself to ensure that you contact, see the people you want to see and try to meet that goal. PA school is all about prioritizing. You won't be able to do everything, but you can make time for the things, people that are important to you. Agree. And that is something that took me a while to learn. Try not to get frustrated and upset about saying no to events. You will miss a lot of them. But also make time for some and plan times with loved ones and friends. They may try but won't truly understand if this is something you face. Just have a conversation about how you feel and avoid having them ask you about school all the time. Don't forget about them either. Make time for a phone call while driving to or from class. It helps you relax and still feel a part of their lives in the real world. Agreed. The people who truly know and care about you will understand when you tell them no. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. And it will happen many times. Don't feel bad about not being able to attend every outing. The people who really care about you understand that you are working hard and in the grand picture of things is only a short amount of time that this will happen. With that being said, it is important to make time every once in a while for friends, family, and social outings. A little bit can go a long way. Agreed. Though PA school is constantly busy, you need to look ahead and find those weekends where you can allow yourself to be social and take a few days off. Unfortunately, those who get upset with you if you are busy in school are the types of people that wouldn't stick up or stick by you for the long haul anyway. Facts. Find your true support system and stick with them. Also, don't ever take the people who put up with your stress and crabbiness and mood swings for granted. Facts. I'm gonna just keep saying facts because all this is gold. This one specifically is for like significant others. Sit your significant other down and let them know that PA school is going to be taking up a lot of your time. Tell them you are going to need all the support you can get, flowers, food, coffee, hugs, words of encouragement, and sometimes just silence. It's really difficult spending 95% of your day doing school things and then trying to build a relationship with the last 5% you have. I remember going out for dinner after the first week and being anxious the whole time like, is this okay to be doing? It is, it is okay. <laughs> It is okay, and I was I was thinking the same thing. This isn't my tip, like this is my classmate's tip, but I remember feeling the exact same way. Felt guilty all the time about doing things that weren't school related, especially the first quarter. If I could do it all over again, I'd, better, I'd be better at letting myself completely forget about school when I scheduled some time away from studying. Taking breaks, hours, days, a few times, even a whole weekend isn't as effective when you're still half worrying about what you're getting behind on. 
true. You gotta like completely disconnect as hard as it is. You gotta just like understand that you have to be human too. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Everyone in your class is intelligent. They wouldn't be there if they weren't. You are going to do worse than the average at times and that is okay. Focus on learning, not on grades. I know this is easier said than done, but it is so much more important to retain the information long-term than to cram and get an A on the test. We're not trying to get into PA school anymore. We're not trying to go somewhere else. So grades, like you should strive to do your best and like strive for an A or strive for a B. But uh, if, if you don't, if you fall a little short of the average, don't let it like get in your head. You know, just realize what areas you need to study a little more um, and then take action on that. Don't doubt yourself or compare yourself to others in the program. Everybody here is crazy smart, including you. Facts. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. You will have doubts, you will be scared, and you will feel like everything is going terrible for you, but everyone is feeling that way at some point. All right, so now we're gonna finish up with a few words of encouragement. We all feel like we can't do it at times, but 90 exams later, <laughs> and the PA2s have made it, and you will too. Uh, take it one exam at a time, knowing that you will make it through. We might not be successful all the time, but we adjust and we learn how to be more successful. It's not about being the smartest or knowing all the information as well as everybody else. It's about realizing that if you don't know something well, that you will make an effort to learn it and find ways to retain it. It's okay not to be a perfect student or a perfect PA. Taking that pressure off will make a huge difference. And grades really don't matter, so that's a relief. I found that other people believe in you more than you believe in yourself. <laughs> I agree. You, you, you get, you can be your own worst enemy sometimes. I definitely found this to be true. You will doubt yourself so much and think you won't succeed, but you can and you will succeed. You will be great. As long as you study and do what you're supposed to, there is no reason you won't succeed and you will do great things. <laughs> so inspirational. <laughs> I, I need to read these like every morning. If you're religious, pray, ask God to strengthen you for the journey. It might seem difficult, but don't give up. You can do it. In the wise words of one of my fellow colleagues, the days are slow, but the months are fast. Agree. This couldn't be more accurate to describe PA school. I can't believe it has already been almost a year since I started. Time flew by so fast. PA school is tough. You will be emotionally, physically, mentally drained for most days. But remember that you have 85 other people feeling the exact same way. Form bonds and lean on each other. Remember why you chose this profession. It's easy to get lost in the exams and classes, but just try to remember how it felt to get accepted and what your end goal is. Always got to keep an eye on the prize and not forget why you started. And uh, I think that's it. Wow, that is it. It went through, uh, went through these a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. So I hope these were helpful. They they weren't like very specific like study strategies or anything but just like overall words of wisdom advice that i think um i wish i knew going into the didactic year and i didn't really find a video like this on youtube and i really feel like this is a lot of value uh that i can provide to you guys so i hope all any pa1 watching this i hope that this was helpful any undergraduate pre-pa student i hope that this is helpful um yeah i just i just wish you guys good luck um if you guys want me to make any specific videos about the didactic year let me know down below in the comments definitely going to be documenting the clinical year as i go if you guys are new to the channel uh, my first rotation is in the er so expect to see uh some vlogs where i may like talk a little bit about that but we're not going to violate hipaa so we're not going to be talking about specific cases or any like personal identifiers just going to be talking about general experience how it's going all that kind of stuff but again if this was helpful make sure you smash that thumbs up button because it really does help my channel grow and get this content out to everyone um but if you guys want to stick around the next part of this video is going to be some of my favorite shoulder exercises that i've been doing recently um, i like to include a little bit of fitness medicine and lifestyle on this channel so if you're new um go ahead and stick around for that if you came just for the fitness go ahead and continue the video but i guess technically i should be pointing this way because this is like progressing in time and this is like rewinding the video yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Alrighty, gang, so today's pre of choice is going to be the new Christian Guzman Ghost Collab CGV3 Lemon Lime flavor. This thing is packed to the nines with actives. I'm super pumped because the focus is gonna be there, the energy is gonna be there, and the pump is gonna be there. So, been drinking this a lot lately, but I'm feeling kind of like having the pre workout smack me in the face today. So, I think we are going to take some of this to the dome. This is the first time that I've taken it to the dome. So uh, let's get some scoops here. I'm gonna do a scoop and a half actually today, not the full two scoops, so let's go.
Wow, wow. That's the first time I'm taking it to the dome in it. It like dissolves really well. Easy. All right, gang. Let's get this workout. Is this over? I'm scared to ask these questions cause I know that you'll reject my love moving slower frozen to these pieces without a shoulder to cry on. So that is going to wrap up today's shoulder workouts. I started incorporating a bunch of new exercises recently, some of which I learned from my buddy Jake in Phoenix. And so I've kind of completely revamped my typical shoulder day. So I thought I'd share some of the exercises I've been doing and enjoying with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that some of you guys can take those exercises away and apply them to your own routine. And with that being said, this is going to wrap up today's video. I know it's a little longer than usual. I'm out of breath. I just finished up my last set. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything specific you guys want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.